Pisces. Treat me nice, please. What is going on, my babies? It is me, Ra. It is she, Ra. It is me, Ra. It is Scorpion Red's Tarot. I am back at it. One time for the one time to let you know what is going on for the month of May. What you got to say, baby? It is 2020. Show me the money energy. Baby, we is back at it. Oh, my God. We back at it again. Back at it. Hey, how many of y'all is back at at it, my dears. Listen, things is opening up, things is getting bright, things are getting clearer, my dear. So we're about to get into this. I want to give a big shout out, number one, to Miss Amber. She got us the Love Oracle deck. It just came in the mail yesterday as a surprise when I was coming home from work. I love this deck. Thank you so much. This is from the same people that made the Music Oracle decks that you guys seen me use a lot last year. So thank you guys. I'm about to get the whole collection. There is um, an art Oracle deck that I have in my Amazon wish list that I want to get. And there's one with Oprah Winfrey on it because it's called the Successors uh, Oracle deck. It's about like successful people and stuff like that and i'm going to be using that deck once i get it for my life purpose reading so thank you to every single body who has sent support through the page through the amazon wish list through the cash app through the paypal when these videos be resonating and you guys send support where i can put it back into what i'm doing and into my art i love it and listen i finally got all five of the five decks y'all y'all give a big shout out to mr dennis y'all he blessed us up he got us all of this y'all can you believe it like y'all people really be putting love into this page like this and i am so appreciative and humble and thankful for all of this love y'all we got the wheel of the year tarot deck which we'll be using today in today's reading we got the dreaming way tarot all right the crow several and if y'all know me y'all know i love crows like that is one of my spirit animals y'all the wild wood tarot as well as the druid craft tarot deck y'all this is this box is huge okay it is absolutely huge i cannot wait to use these decks y'all i'm so excited i am so gratefully thankful so much for all of you guys support Thank you to everyone who's been booking with me, by the way. If you have been trying to book with me through my Simply Book Me page, that page, I'm trying to shut it down. I don't know how to get into it. Like, I'm locked out of it. So, I can see that you guys are trying to book, but I can't contact you because I can't see who's trying to contact me. So, if you guys have been trying to book with me and y'all have not been able to get your reading um please make sure and of course there was no payment transaction so you know you can't get mad about something that you didn't pay for yet so especially if you're trying to book with me through the site and it wasn't asking for any payment something is wrong so make sure that you guys communicate with me on instagram that's where i do my readings at now and um by payment um method right now is just cash app and paypal you can just go on my about tab if you want to book with me it has the pricing list right there only thing you need to do is go ahead and submit your payment and then send me a message on instagram um most of the days y'all will get the same day reading so y'all just make sure as soon as you book with me send me a message on instagram so we can do your reading okay and um if you don't have instagram you can just send me a message at scorpionreds at gmail.com and we can just get it cracking or whatever because we can use google hangouts and the only thing we need to do is exchange email so just let me know and y'all communicate with me on instagram in the messenger section on instagram if you guys want to book your readings do not book readings through the simply book me website okay i'm gonna try to take that down so it will less some confusion and i'm sorry for the confusion all right so let's get into and again if anyone would like to book a reading or show any type of form of support um Again, like, thank you to everyone who's been sending all this love through the Amazon wish list. All of that stuff is on the About tab on my YouTube page, all right? So let's get into this energy. Let's give God thanks. Father God, thank you so much for waking us up today and just blessing Pisces. Father God, we are swimming upstream. Father God, we have got ourselves rested and we are reloaded, Father. We are keeping ourselves fully exposed to the sun. We want the warmth. We want that good vitamin D energy. We need all of that good 
ready you know that 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 that, that love rays and that you know that good blessed energy we need all of that to radiate on us and touch our skin and give us a nice warm tan things are warming up the blossoms are blooming all of this Blessings is just looming all around us, Father God, and we're just so thankful for it, and we just cannot wait to put our feet out in the pavement and get the going. Thank you so much to everyone that started going back to work, and they've been getting callbacks from their jobs, from everyone that's been laid off. We're just sending blessings to everyone, and we're sending that blessed energy all the way around so everyone can get back up on their feet and things can get back to not the way things used to be and the way they used to do, but better. So, you know, we are really, really strong be swimming upstream you know what I'm saying we want to be one of the first ones to get there for a matter of fact you know so God thank you so much for just teaching us how to press forward and just claim victory in the glory Father God because they don't know our story they don't know what we've been through they don't know what we've been trying to achieve in the name of Jesus so Father God you know if you can believe you can achieve so um, continue to put that wisdom in us and thank you for holding our hand every step of the way Father God and thank you so much for the victory that you placed on our footsteps because our steps have been ordered Father God and we thank you so much so give us guidance for the sign of Pisces for May 2020 show me the money energy father god because they're gonna have to show us their work now you got to show us that you're worthy to be in our space that you're worthy to be around us because otherwise we ain't got no time okay and we damn sure ain't got a dime to spend on you okay let's keep it going let's get into this thank you so much father god amen let's get into this energy come on pisces treat me nice please honey let's get into her let's get into she let's get into wait Okay, shout out to all my OGs, to all my Pisces strong men out there. What's going on, baby loving? Come on. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You can go on out. I don't care. Let's see what's this. Billy Holiday. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Child. Ah, the thing that. Ah. Gosh, it's like Billie Holiday was such a beautiful and such a talented woman. But only thing she's so overshadowed her 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 skills and her gifts is overshadowed by her addictions, you know. And I feel like it tarnished her legacy almost, known as Lady Heroin. So I don't know if you are just that addictive, you know. Your music, your sound, your gift, your grace, your face. Like everything about you is addicting to other people. And other people just can't seem to kick you. Or can't let you go, you know. They can't stop listening to your music. They love the sound of your voice. They love your wisdom, your intuition, just everything that you are, you know. You're sultry, you're vivacious, you know. We have a little prestige of mystery around you. You know, like like people are waiting to hear you sing, ready to hear your art. Like you guys could be a singer. You guys could be an entertainer in some type of way. And it's like you're addicting your appeal. You know, it's like some level of in the way that you divulge your gift. It's like a sharp edge to it, but. You can't stop but being engaged in this. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't pull away. Even though if it's like... Because even the type of songs that Billie Holiday used to sing, it was like she was behind that beautiful soft melody and her, her voice and everything when you listen to the words. She was really giving people the honest truth about the harsh reality of what was going on in the world for black people at that time. That it might have been hard to hear. But her beautiful face. Her beautiful smile. And her soft sultry. Lyrics and her words. Made people listen. It was hard to turn away. It was hard to deny her. So. It says a kiss never tasted. Like fine wine. You never know when to stop. Until, you'll, until you've had too much. You can find friends in the darkest places. 
A kiss never tasted like fine wine. Oh, no, I'm saying it wrong. A kiss never tasted is like fine wine wasted. Whoa, I read that wrong. A kiss never tasted is like fine wine wasted. So, that's like... <laughs> So for someone that's never had a drink, who's never took any drugs, never drunk any alcohol before, they see a glass of wine sitting on the table, they can walk right by it like it's nothing because it has no appeal to them. It doesn't, there's no addiction, there's no lust for it, there's no um, curiosity to even want to taste it, to see what it tastes like, to even feel like they is something that they might want to enjoy. But to someone that has had their full share of intoxication, they'll look at someone that's a sober mind, a sober thinker, like, you a fool for wasting such a fine wine, you know, almost like their palate isn't up to par, but my palate isn't for things that I feel like I could overindulge or I could hurt myself or I could drink or I could do to excess or I could possibly overdose or harm myself if I drink too much or overdo it. I'd rather not have it at all. Do you understand? The thing is, when you're giving in to things that... When you're giving in to things that you know aren't good for you, you attract less of the people that are sober mind, sober thinkers, people that wouldn't even engage, wouldn't even touch the temptation. And you start interacting and making friends with people who thrive in indulging in temptations. You understand? So, even though you might have just took your first sip, you might end up hanging around with people that drink all the time all of a sudden. You understand? So, we're going to see about this. You'll never know when to stop until you've had too much. See, that's the fear. It's like, why even pick up the first glass when I see how much of an ass other people make of their self drinking or engaging or indulging in this substance? You know what I'm saying? And it's like almost scared to enjoy yourself because you don't know if you can stop. And it's like you find friends in the darkest place. And it's like when you find friends in spaces like that that are enjoying themselves and doing these things with you, it's like who is there that's going to be really responsible to uphold you enough to tell you to stop or tell you that, that you're doing too much when they're doing it right with you? Taking the time to really listen to what the music is saying, you know. Give me guidance. So I feel like this is like someone that might have regretted the first kiss, might have regretted the first taste of a substance or something or someone because they never knew that they were in too deep until they were in it. And then by the time they looked around, everybody and everything that surrounded them looked just like this addiction, this intoxication, that they didn't see anything else in their life that didn't that, that resembled a sober mind anymore. Everything that they seen around them resembled this addiction. It's like one taste changed your life. You could find friends in the darkest places. Give me guidance on this for the Pisces. Give me guidance. The Hierophant. You guys are getting like information about a different structure. I want to say that you guys are being told to kind of hide your face right now and to separate yourself from people that is not going where you're going. Because I want to say that you're trying to go through this life experience with a sober mind right now. And because you're trying to sing a different, like this lady is not trying to sing the blues no more. 
I'm not trying to sing the blues no more. And it wasn't until I feel like you try to sing a song with a sober mind that you realize just how deeply involved and how oversaturated you were by everything that represented your addictions. You can find friends in the darkest place. You could be realizing the people that you've been talking to every day is a reflection of the toxicity that was in your life. The hierophant is like literally God stepping in and like, I, I don't know, like they're telling you to hide your face right now. I feel like you need to like come indoors and seclude yourself from being out in the public eye right now because it's like, you're going under like a different structure of teaching. Like this is you like committing yourself to a different environment, a different group of people, like a different foundation, like, like committing yourself to a new set of rules in your life where it's like you don't drink anymore. You don't do drugs anymore. Like you don't hang with these people that be in these dark places anymore because it's like you never really know when to stop until you've had too much and I feel like this is someone that's had too much you know and it's like I'm ready for you to teach me something else like I'm ready to the kind of it's like I don't I feel like you don't you try to hide your face from these people that you found you in these dark places I feel like you don't want to reside around these people anymore you're tired of singing the blues the seven of inspiration. So this is the seven of wands. You see how you're pushing all of that darkness away so that you can get to the light? You see that shit? I don't even want to have to explain myself to anyone anymore. I feel like you're really laying low. You see how she's low like that? I feel like you're dipping low out. Like, 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 you're dipping low on motherfuckers. It is like your internal light is shining so bright within you. And, you, and it's like, I don't even want to do this shit anymore. Like, I'm trying to commit myself to a new me. I don't want to be known. I don't, I don't want my addictions. And it's like, I don't want my addictions and, and bad decisions to overshadow every fucking thing that people should know about me. Like people should really know about my gifts. People should really listen to what I'm trying to say and focus on my talent. Then the circle of people that I hang, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the seven of swords. So the seven of swords is like sneaky. It's like sneaky, uh, vengeful, manipulative behavior. Um, people trying to steal, people trying to lie, people trying to cheat, people being underhanded, people like plotting against you, want to take advantage of you and trying to get away with like making stories up about you and things like that. Because the seven of inspiration, like the, this is someone defending themselves from gossip, from lies, from people trying to like make false accusations about them from people trying to say that you did something that you didn't do, that you said some things or that you were someplace that you weren't. And, you know, and it's like someone could be doing something right now. And look, you could find friends in the darkest places. And it's like, I feel like you're realizing what type of friends that you have now, you know? Listen, you see this girl sitting on the steps. She got that face with that fox on there. It's like these people are sneaky. These people are manipulative. Like, and if it wasn't for the fact that I was high, I was drunk, or that I was hanging around these type of people, you never know when to stop until you've had too much. It's like enough is enough. It's like I give it, I'm giving all my shit to God right now because I really just, the, the, the seven of swords could be someone trying to get away as well. Someone trying to get away. It's like I'm trying to push away all this darkness and like I'm trying to just dip low and just lay low right now and just allow my inner light to shine. It's like I got to be smarter than these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I'm not going to be weak and not defend, defend myself, but at the same time, it's like, I see how sneaky and manipulative these motherfuckers is. I gotta outsmart them. I gotta use what I know about them to my advantage so that I can be able to defend myself to get away, you know? Because it's like someone trying to get away with something that they shouldn't have. 
So you might be trying to, in your defense, because like the seven of wands is like someone defending their self. The emperor. Yeah, you taking charge. Taking care of your responsibilities. You see all that red? You're taking charge. You're taking care of responsibilities. Like you are like taking, you know, like paying the piper. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're like stepping up and if there's anything that you've done wrong, like righting your wrongs, like taking everything that you were supposed to do into account and actually trying to like get this shit done, like being rooted and really trying to stick to the basics and follow the rules this time. Like, you're really following the rules this time. So, like, if you know, like, your weakness or that you... What is this? The ten of emotions. So, you guys might be, like, out of a home or something. The three of inspiration. The three... Okay. So... Okay. What's under this? The sun is in the reverse. So... You guys might not be unhappy. You guys might be unhappy right now with the sun. I feel like there was lack of growth. Um, you may have like lack of shelter. Um, there's a delay in like movement. Like this should have been a domino effect. Like everything should have kind of fell in sequence or something. It's something like that's out of sequence right now. Like, your crop isn't getting enough sun. Like, you might have planted it in a bad spot in your yard or whatever where it's not, like, a north-facing, you know, window or something like that where it's not getting a lot of sun and a lot of light or something like that. So, it's like a stillborn plant or something. Like, if something didn't grow and it's like... You could have put your plants outside before, like, the first chill was 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 over. It might have been too cold. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, something didn't grow. There's no life. There's no happiness, you know. This could have something to do with a home, like a foundation, like a marriage or something. It could have been a divorce or you could have had to walk away from a home place or something that you called home where there was family. Like, you could be walking away from your family, but there could have been a delay in the domino effect. I feel like something halted you. Something halted you before you were able to like successfully walk away. Because it's like you had to reassess your happiness and figure out before you take that last and final step. Like what is it about you where things are not growing? The way that it should. And that's why I feel like that's where you were stepping in. And taking guidance under the hierophants. And it's like you're really following the rules right now. And taking responsibility with that emperor. But the emperor is like a female. So it's like. I got to take care of my own business. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm the master of my own fate. I'm the captain of my own destiny. I have to take responsibility for this shit. I have to push away all of this shit. All of these people that and I have to push away these fake ass friends, these toxic ass people that is just like for real for real. They ain't nothing but my enemies. Like, these people ain't shit and they don't want me to be shit with me. Like, I don't know if someone introduced you to some drugs or introduced you to the worst mistake of your life or something like that. But I feel like whatever it is, it's halted your success. It's halted your growth. It's halted your ability to, like, feel your life's success. Like, I feel... You have to worry about too many other things going on right now where it took the fun out of your life. Because even the sun in the reverse is like, you know, your kids not being able to go outside to play because it might not be safe outside. You know what I'm saying? Or it might be too cold or no one able to have fun. Your kids can't run around. Everyone being able to um, 
having to be still because there's no joy, there's no life. Observe. It's time to look within yourself and observe what I feel like God has been trying to teach you. It's time for you to regain balance and like bring back a certain level of faith and really take charge, you know, and control your addictions. What does it say? Seek. You need to observe and like seek deeper inside. These are cycles in your life that are changing. You guys need to look up the... Let me tell you guys what the spiritual meaning of the bluebird means real quick. Because I know I already have it up if I'm not mistaken. Yes. The spiritual symbolism of a blue jay. The blue jay represents energy, clarity, vibrations. Advantage, curiosity, faithfulness, intelligence, communication, determination, assertiveness. All right. So, again, that's that's emperor right here. Assertiveness, having energy, clarity, vibrancy, you know, taking advantage, being faithful. You know what I'm saying? The emperor is a very faithful and committed individual. Very committed to their success. Very committed to, you know, handling business and making sure that everyone's needs is being that everyone is safe, everyone is secure, everyone is eating, everyone is happy. All of the kids, their homework is done. You know, detach. Hmm. Look, and then you see, like, you see how she's. Pulling herself out of the cold, bitter winter and she's walking into the sun. Remember when I was saying it's like in order for things to grow, it needs the it needs the heat, it needs the warmth, it needs the sun. Certain plants can't grow in the winter. Some plants go dormant in the winter. So I don't know if you guys had a rough winter or something like that where you were tearing yourself away from addictions and things. You were focusing on your faith. You were like trusting God's plan for what he had in your life. You were looking at yourself doing like, look, here going number nine again. Rest and reconsider. You guys have been in a, indoors right now being able to rest and reconsider. Like you guys might be far away from these people from because because of the fucking Rona. Like I'm trying to tell you, a lot of people don't realize how much of a blessing the Corona situation was. Thank you. Look, praying to everyone who um, lost any family or anyone who got sick and things like that. But, like, this was a, a forced separation. I feel like some people were not able to truly see the people that they had around them. And to... Because even this, this it's like this dove being set free. Okay. What is this? The princess of pentacles. This is planning. This is re-educating yourself. This is information of good news. Safe advances in life. Like you being able to get a loan. You um, getting a job. Like this could be someone responding back to you. Telling you that you can come back to work. You know. Maybe you guys haven't been outside in the sun in a minute because you guys have been indoors, you know? You've been resting and reconsidering. You've been getting that goddamn crown chakra together, coming to some type of understanding about these cycles that are being completed in your life. I feel like a lot of you guys are being pushed away from old friends and shit like that what represent old toxic addictions, addictions and stuff like that. Sneaky individuals, people that you met in a dark place in your life and... It's time for you to be in the sun and get out of the darkness. And you see how like, this person is balancing her books like the high priestess, the five of pentacles. So I feel like someone's been indoors. Number one, they've been putting in a lot of applications and things like that. You guys might have been, like, applying for some type of jobs or something like that. This person's been balancing her money. I don't know if you got, like, some type of business in, 
like uh, financial literacy if you work for a bank or something like that or maybe you've been trying to get some type of loan investment uh, type of thing or you've been asking for like some government assistance or something like that the high priestess is definitely saying that you've been withdrawn from pre from people and you've been going inside you've been searching your inner guidance for your inner intuition and things you've been doing a lot of like self like you might have been reading a lot of self-help stuff like studying like figuring out the art of manifestation and how certain vibrations of the world work and like um, telepathic energy and like how to call in your blessings with the art of like <sighs> what am I saying like what, like I've been reading yeah it's this book called power is this book that is called power and like the it's like the laws of it's like the laws of power or the laws of oh something gosh all Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting. Like I know what the book looks like. Um, I really do feel like that book is a little. It could be a little dark at times. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the shit that it says in that book, I can understand why it says it. Certain things I don't agree with. You know, but that's just like the high priestess having to understand the high, the low, the good and the bad. You know. You see how it got a dark side and there's a light side to her. So this is someone that like thoroughly understands like their light side and their shadow energy. You know what I'm saying? She might have been taking things amongst herself because she's been inside to think about everything. And you guys might be secretly applying for a new job or secretly applying for some type of loans or secretly applying for some type of grants or some type of assistance or something that someone doesn't know about because I feel like in your seclusion like you've had to face your shadow right there with this five of pentacles I feel like you have been focusing a little bit on like the lack thereof like I said, someone could have just lost a home. Someone could have just had a divorce or a breakup. Someone could have just realized that I've been hanging around the wrong people and I'm not really happy. And like a lot of the things that I've been emotionally holding on to, like I feel like someone could have been focusing on a breakup. With that ten, of, that ten of cups right there. And it's like I need to take responsibility because with this three of wands... It's been having a negative domino effect on my life, you know. I've been focusing too much on my lack thereof of what I don't have instead of focusing more on my blessings. It's like you're focusing too much on your hardship. And someone could have been like secretly inside. Someone could have been secretly inside worrying about the worst to the fact that they could have pushed everyone away. You, you could have pushed everyone away and went inside. And then when you went inside, it's like, okay, well, I have to take care of myself. Instead of me just sitting there feeling sorry for myself, let me throw some shit out there. Let me just try to communicate. Let me try to apply for some shit. Let me try to put myself out there and see what people say. Either they're going to respect me or they're going to reject me. But I can't necessarily be mad at a situation unless I just don't try you know it's like yeah you gotta apply yourself like you gotta start from somewhere you gotta apply you gotta apply yourself so it's like going deep inside and getting control of your emotions and feel yourself deep within like why have I just been sitting there and feeling sorry for myself instead of applying myself and start trying to start? It's like trying to figure out what's wrong with you and why you can't pick yourself up a little bit. What is this? The will of fortune. And yeah, it's like someone's been inside feeling sorry for themselves, feeling like they just been they just haven't been able to catch a lucky break. 
And that's why I'm like, I'm trying to read this backwards with this Wheel of Fortune right here. It's like someone has been unfortunate. They could have just broke up with someone and then now this Rona shit going on. Everyone could have lost their job and things like that. The Emperor is like, I got to take responsibility for myself, though. I got to take responsibility for myself. It's something about the Hierophant. It's like God has been trying to teach you a certain way to do things, but you were too busy keeping yourself wrapped and surrounded around the wrong things. And that's why this Emperor right here with the Hierophant is like, I'm ready to take charge now. I'm ready to listen to what you want to say. I'm ready to really commit myself to doing the right thing. I'm pushing this darkness away. I got to get away from these people. If that Rona didn't happen, you were not going to ever take time to yourself. Listen to the communication that those Blue Jays and like the natural communication that God has been trying to send you. And rest and reconsider what you're doing so that you can make changes and like complete these cycles. Like things are going to get worse before they get better. But you got to pick yourself up though. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if you... I, like there's someone going through some type of depression and some shit like that and focusing on all of the negative things instead of looking inside and realizing it's within me. Can't nobody pick me up up off of the ground and make me feel better about myself or get me out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that's facing some type of homelessness. Yes, the eight of swords. So it's like you looking for someone to run to your aid and take care of you, but it's like you're not a child. You're not a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not trapped. You're not bound. You're not really bedridden the way that you think you are. This is someone that might be suffering from some type of sickness, though. Like, you know, some of you might have been sick. You know what I'm saying? But this is more depicting, like, a mental sickness that is looking for someone to aid them, to take care of them, to make them feel better. And it's like, that's why, like, and the number eight represents responsibilities as well. As above, so below. What you put out, you get back to it. But it's like if you're still looking for other people to give you information, to tell you something, to make you feel better for yourself, to make you not feel sick, to make you get up out of the bed, you're going to be always laying in the bed. You understand what I'm saying? You can't look for other people to make you feel better. It's within you. That's what the high priestess is there. The high priestess, she... That's why she stayed to herself a lot. It's like, I can't get too attached. This is like someone, it's like a codependent relationship, like codependency, addictions. It's like you, 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 you're too dependent on someone else to make a way for you instead of you making a way. Apply yourself. Apply yourself. Start from the ground. Plant, plant. Create grassroots. Apply. Put yourself out there. Apply for different jobs. Detach yourself from that cold shit. Look, even outside, look, it's cold. It's the winter time. It's like, I don't know why I feel like someone's been sick since the winter. It's like their resources have all dried up. Like someone could have lost their apartment. They could be homeless right now. You could be living with someone. Looking for someone else to help you find a way. It's like it's, 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 it's some type of delay in wherever you're going. Like you guys might be trying to move into some type of state of happiness. But there's been a delay. There's been a breakdown in this domino effect right here. I feel like this breakup, this divorce created a negative domino effect in where you felt like your life have been, should have been going. It's been bringing you a lot of unhappiness. You can find friends in the darkest places. Be careful of the people that surround themselves around you when you've been in your darkest place. It's time for you to like really avoid these people and push this conflict away. This is conflict. Do you understand what I'm saying? These are people that are not really there for the right reasons. You understand? Like you might not see it, but you will see it later. Nines represents chapters, it represents cycles, it represents endings. Do you understand? Like, yes, this has been an unfortunate period in your life, but it's for you to, like, really go within yourself and seek deep within yourself. Why am I going through these challenges? You got to understand your shadow and your light. Your shadow is your addictions. Your shadow is the things that you might be ashamed of about yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
And you got to work on that. In order for the Wheel of Fortune to turn around in your favor, you keep feeling down. You keep feeding your fears versus your faith. You keep looking for someone else to run and be accountable for you or to, to take care of you or to help you throughout your trials and tribulations you'll never learn how to take care of it yourself and to find your own way she's just going out there and applying herself even if she even if she don't get the first second or third goddamn position that she applied for she's going to keep applying herself something's going to stick that's that emperor it's something about observing within yourself and detaching yourself from it's like codependent relationships it's like you're codependent on something and it's like God is trying to show you a different way you know it's trying to show you another level of commitment being more committed to your faith versus your fears and doing the things that you always used to do that got you to a place you don't want to be a place where you're homeless you're 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 either sick it's like I have a homeless a sickness it's definitely some type of sickness. It's definitely some type of sickness. Homelessness and sickness. The love card in the reverse. This is the Cupid card. It's like stop looking for other people to love you. You got to love yourself. What is this? Loss of money. So the loss of money. And this is the five of God. There. So someone could have. Listen. So this is like being stabbed in the back right here. Being smacked in your face hard. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have been. You could have been. Thought you were in a situation. And this could, this is representing the, mas the masculine energy. So this is representing companionship. The six of hearts represents companionship. Like a lover. Like or it could even be like. Someone that was really close to you. Someone that you really love. Like a lover or a friend. This is not someone just like an associate or someone that you really don't know. No, this is someone that you really, really love. This could have been like your other half, you know. You could have realized like this person stabbed me in my back. This person doesn't love me anymore, you know. Like this could be like some type of physical harm. Like literally someone cutting you deep, you know what I'm saying. Like a loss of all your investments, you know. What is this? Why is all of this in the reverse? A trip out of the country. So again, this this has something to do with you supposed to be going somewhere, but the shit ain't moving because I feel like someone is focused too much on the fact that someone did. It's like someone is looking for someone to come and rescue them out of this nightmare, feeling lost and lonely by themselves. Like this is some type of like depression sickness. You know what I'm saying? It's like someone looking for someone else to come and tell them something to make them feel better, to help them pick their self up out of the bed, help them to stop feeling sorry for their self. You know what I'm saying? With this five of pentacles, like, no, this wheel of fortune is like, I feel so unlucky. I feel like everything in my life isn't going good and blah, 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 blah. And it's like. You have to apply yourself. Can't nobody go and apply for the work for you. This is the, this is still representing like a severance of work because clubs represents work. You understand? So you guys could be out of work. Like you might not be able to go or move because you don't have a job anymore. But at the same time, go apply for another one. This represents... As long as you put good energy out, you're going to get good energy back. As long as you apply yourself, you're going to get... This is the good news card of like someone receiving like some type of financial advancement. Like something that is going to produce some material wealth in the long run. But it's the beginning of, you know, a new site of material wealth. What is this? A lawyer. So... I feel like the law is going to come and especially like if you guys are worried about something because y'all are out of work because of the corona like you just had a divorce you're separating yourself from old toxic addiction codependent relationships the high priestess does represent someone that is by herself and is going within to educate herself and she's going through some type of spiritual evolution okay that can't nobody help her with but herself she got to do this by herself. No one can help you through this by yourself. You got to figure it out on your own. You got to put the effort in on your own. Do you understand? What is this? Impediment. 
impediment. So again, this is the Eight of Diamonds. So impediment represents, listen, you might got to lawyer up a little bit. You understand? Or at least like think of this from a more intellectual aspect as though lawyers are on your half fighting for you. So I don't know if this is someone that's unemployed that didn't get like their stimulus or they didn't get their unemployment money or something like that. Just know that the lawyers are handling this shit. You know, and whatever money that you have right now, save it. Make sure that you're paying attention to the money that you're spending. Do not impede the process even more by not paying attention to your assets. Okay? As quickly as they have gained, they can be lose. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, especially if you're out of job. You could have realized that this relationship is over. Like, there's no more companionship. There's no more commitment. Someone stabbed you in the back. You might be out of work right now. You just got to hold on to everything that you got and, and allow justice to prevail for you. Do you understand? You got to go in and do the work that you need to do. And do not continue to walk towards people that you know are not good for you. These seven of swords, this Billy Holiday, you can find friends in the darkest places. Do not connect with people that... You found and they came into your life when you were at your lowest. <gasps> what is this? Anger. What is this? The Eight of Clubs. The Eight of Clubs represents like... The Eight of Clubs represents someone taking... It's like taking responsibility for doing what they got to do. So, it's like, this could be like your job, your work, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might be angry around your day-to-day -day activity because, like, of a work situation. This represents work. So, you guys might be in it, and the tens represents endings, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you guys might be upset because, like, you guys, it might have been an ending with your job, you know what I'm saying? But as long as you've been applying yourself while you've been by yourself, this is to give you time to think about what you really want to do, who you really are. Like, really go through that whole soul's evolution and things like that and apply yourself based off of what you know and who you know who you are. Studying. Educating yourself. And applying yourself. So even if one cycle in your life has ended... Don't be angry, because that's the only thing you're going to do is push anger out into the universe, and you're going to get that right fucking back. Allow the lawyers and shit to sort all of this shit out. Whatever stipend, whatever fucking money you're supposed to be getting, you're going to get it. Just focus on what you have and not blowing what you have. Hope. Listen, focus on hope. And then you see the three of clubs, you done had one two three times in your life where I feel like you might have been in this situation trying to anchor in like a good job I feel like someone is going to help you like that's basically like you see this ship sailing in and you see this anchor right here another job is coming to you do you understand like someone that you know might end up fucking helping you with this job so that you can move on. Like that's the three of wands. Like this is like you sitting there waiting, being patient and hoping, waiting for better to come to you. So that you can sell away into the future. Do you understand? So you got to keep seeking. You got to keep being open to communication. You got to be willing to say, you know what? Even if I did lose something, I'm gaining something so much better. You need to rest and reconsider. Please do not be sitting back there. Especially if this has something to do with a job that you lost. It could be a business that you lost. It could be some old friends that you realize are toxic that you lost. It could be a love partnership that you lost. Whatever it is, it's like don't be codependent and holding on to shit that God is trying to tell you. You need to seclude yourself and look within and realize why you keep holding on to it and let this shit go. Look, you need to observe these people. You need to uh, observe your foundation. Your foundation and, and do what's best for you. It's like you got to commit to yourself to your faith. 
You got to commute your, like commit yourself to what's right and what you really want to work out in your life. You got to like seclude yourself in, you know, keep yourself covered and at a safe distance from people that doesn't necessarily be need to be around you. I feel like God knows what he was doing and why he did this, this whole Corona thing. I feel like in any other way, you wouldn't have separated yourself from this person and from these people and changed your life in a way where you were able to like go within and restructure your life. Give me guidance. What do you mean? What do you mean by this information for Pisces? You guys have been secluded because you guys need to rebuild and relearn and get away from like social distancing from real from people that are not good for you. And once you rest and reconsider who you got in your life, what do you mean? Look. So it's like. Obama's right hand man so it's like again this is you being like the vice so under the guidance of the hierophant right this is the best teacher like this is like the law this is like the government this is like the church this is like you know the height the the hierarchy you know what I'm saying so it's like you guys are being given a gift of recognition and things like that because it's like you're able literally to commit to the right way of doing things and like change your life where it's like you have a more honorable living now i feel like you're not hanging around no type of low lives anymore like you clean your life up and things like that and you are just like really being recognized for your commitment you're being recognized for your commitment you guys Give me one more. <laughs> I feel like it's like a time for you to like really taste the good life. You know what I'm saying? It's like this was an older woman here. So it's like something that you can rest and enjoy in until it's until retirement. So whatever job again, again, like your new state of commitment that you are stepping into, number one, you're going to be honored for your hard work. You're going to be honored for your hard work. Regardless if you're out of a job right now, the next job that you are going to get, this next institution, this next place, listen, the Hierophant, this next institution, this next place where you're going to be committing yourself and you're going to be learning and following this new set of rules and you're going to be high, highly honored at this place. You're going to win. You're going to reach the jackpot. You're going to be able to enjoy your success, your successful blessings way into entire into retirement and able to eat long and enjoy all your little gifts, all your little snacks, all your little treats, all well into your late. Well, I want to say late childhood, but when you when you really think about it, when you get older, it's like you do revert back into like infancy. You know what I'm saying? You grown old and you you can't move around and do things. I feel like well into your retirement, like you're going to be enjoying yourself. You're going to be enjoying yourself. All of the beautiful treats well into late age retirement. So just have faith. I feel like you just need a new, you need a new appearance. You need a new appearance, I feel like. Because I love Billie Holiday, but she's known as Lady Heroin. I feel like you need to change your name a little bit. You need to change your, your name a little bit because she's known more for her addictions, than her actual talent. I would hate to die and know that people look at me as an addictive personality 
They think more about my drug use and things that I couldn't let go of my life and how it would fuck my life up versus my true natural gifts. You know what I'm saying? So listen to what God is trying to tell you and put yourself in a place of high honor where you could grow into your late childhood, okay? All right? When you growing old and you end up... Listen, it's like literally growing old and being able to enjoy life like a child again. You know what I'm saying? Allow yourself to be great and to be honored. Honor yourself by honoring God and sticking to your faith and separating yourself from toxic people that you know are low lives. Okay? I love you. Love yourself. Peace.